So today I'm going to be doing a video talking about the games that you just need to play on the Switch or you need to have on the Switch. And you get to see my hands for the first time. It feels so naked. So of course we're going to be doing Animal Crossing, but I think that you might need a closer look at it. Just like a little bit closer, a little bit closer. There we go. Are you proud of me that it took me so long to do? The great thing about Animal Crossing is that the villagers, they're really the heart of the game. Like look at Goldie just being so nice to me all the time. You can also pop balloons, watch them fall in the water, go fishing, and then hear a bunch of puns over and over. You can also collect fruit, eat the fruit, and then have the strength to just shovel a tree out of the ground. And then you can also listen to your villagers sing, like isn't that so adorable? And more puns. You can also decorate your island in any way you want and no one will say anything about it, except for Isabelle, of course. You can also go shopping for different kinds of furniture and also different kinds of clothes. And they have like a whole range of clothes and you can just buy whatever you want and no one will say anything about it or judge you for it like they did in the other games. Like, look at that. And then you can just sit there and think about how much money you just wasted. Go back home to cry about it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Don't cry about it. It's okay. It's just the game. But now I think we're just going to change the mood a little bit to Little what? Nightmares 2. I know that was kind of a twist that you did not see coming. Now, out of all the games, I think this is the game you should get, like, the whole series. Because this game has so many layers to it, like the story, the environments, the characters. There's just so many ways you can interpret it. And I know the things going on in the background is not matching what I'm saying, but you gotta listen to what I'm saying. This game is so great that even he is shocked by it. It leaves you on the edge of your seat because you never know what's gonna happen. And there are a bunch of puzzles in the game, some which were a bit hard for me because I'm really bad at puzzles, just in general. Um, and there's a lot of traps, and I actually didn't see that one, but it's okay because I get my revenge right here. Yeah. You can also break into this house. We don't know why we go into this house, but you do. And you can cause a ruckus. But I've seen so many playthroughs of this game. It's just so interesting to see how people see this game. Is it a story about a kid just trying to survive? Or is there more to the story than that? Out of all the stories, this sequel stood out the most to me. Especially towards the end of the game. Because it's kind of a bit more clear to figure out what the story is about and the deeper meaning and how it reflects on real life. Now we're going to move on to a different game that also includes a cute pair of little angels. So basically these two little boys, they go to a casino and they make a deal with the devil and they lose of course and to repay him, to keep their lives, the devil says that the cups have to go out and gather these depths for him. So they basically have to kill a bunch of people in order to keep their own lives. And this game is just so cute. Like everything about it is cute from like the art style and the art style and the art style. So I'm just gonna show you a couple examples of like how the fights look like or some of the other levels, what they look like. So this level is just full of chaos. It really gives you a taste of how the game is. It's just, un it's, it's merciless. It's truly a rage game. And I just love how they show how close you are to the end. But for some reason, when I was playing on camera, the eyes of my FBI agent watching me, I was able to do the level, no problem, which is weird. <laughs> and then, so that was just a regular level, but this is a boss. 
And let me tell ya, it was a struggle. Like, <laughs> and the fact you can only get hit three times is what really dizzy in. And there it goes again, showing me how close I was to the end. And again, on camera, I had no problem doing this. But yeah, it's a really fun game when you know what to do. So now we're going to move on to another challenging game. So you can play a whole range of characters. And please excuse how bad I am at the game. Link is not my main, it's Sonic. And it's been a long time since I played because, you know, I was playing Animal Crossing. But this really is a fun game. And it's just so chaotic, especially when you get like the Pokeballs and whatever this thing is. Yeah, um, I didn't do my best. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. But of course I won because all I made was excellent plays the whole time. And to get new characters, they would just appear like this. And then if you're like me and you have no patience to fight with honor, you do something like that. And there's a whole bunch of worlds that you can pick from. Fountain of Dreams, Yoshi's Story, Tortimer Island, and the little Nintendo dog world. It's just so cute. Like, look at that. It's so cute. And if no one dies, you do this whole sudden death thing. And I, for some reason, I kept hopping around because I wanted to see what would happen if I did that. And I still won because, you know, all I do is excellent plays. And when you want to make things really personal, you go on the battlefield world. And you fight one on one with the person who kept beating you back to back to back. Like Pikachu throwing a bomb? That's crazy. And of course I won. I always win. There's also a story mode which, um... You basically have to battle the characters, but like, they're upgraded in a way, so they have like, these Yu-Gi-Oh cards that they use, I guess. But this battle was actually pretty fun, because the Yoshis, they die pretty easily. And then this thing happened. And then it happened again. And then I won. Because I always win. Now, this next game was, um, it's more of a, a memory to me. Uh, some things happened. To put it shortly, this whole clip that I did was a fail. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. I, I guess it was a poor connection and also because I guess not that many people are playing this game. As you can see, I'm way at the bottom. Frozen. Yeah, and then the next round, it was actually pretty fun. I got to move, see? And so they're fighting each other and I didn't know the controls yet because there's no tutorial. You just go straight into the game and I won by default, basically. And then this round happened where they just slowly disappeared until it was just me by myself. And then so I just hung out in the lobby by myself, dancing, sliding around, walking, just walking and sliding and doing whatever that is and fighting with myself. And yeah, that's about it. Now this next game is called Night in the Woods. Now this game is actually a really special one. Like, I know I say that all the games here are special, but that's just because I'm right about it. So this game is very heavy on story. So you play as this cat named May. Yes, you play as a cat in this game. She just came back from college and she's moving back to her hometown. And I don't want to give too much away with this story, but 
what you need to know is that there's a lot of dialogue so there's going to be a lot of reading but it's absolutely worth it because not only is the story very engaging in that it has an interactive environment but the game is actually pretty funny like sometimes games they do really cringy humor aka life is strange and i love jack septicai's playthrough of it i love all the voices that he did it was very suitable for each of them um but yeah you just start off and it's literally a night in the woods and you're gonna have to get used to that because there's going to be a lot of nights here in the woods she also has a journal that she keeps and i really like it when games incorporate that kind of stuff because it makes it feel like more personal with the character and then uh, i fell off right here yeah like this character she's just so sweet interesting quirky complex i just love her also play space dragon you won't regret it now this next game is called a short hike basically what a short hike is about is you play as this bird who is going on a short hike that's basically it i just want to put it out there that this character i'm talking to right now i hate them with every fiber of my being and i wish i could just but this game is so special because i feel like the side characters really make this game unique because usually games don't pay that much attention to detail when it comes to side characters but each side character seems like they all have their own story i love the environment of this game too because it's just so such warm colors so like fall but back to the side characters they all have like their own side missions the rabbit is my favorite character in this game and of course the environments are so beautiful and what i really love about this game is that it's it seems like it's open world but it's just one island and you can just fly wherever you want and i think that's so awesome now speaking of birds <laughs> that was the only way i knew how to transition to the next game this next game is called what remains of edith finch now this is a very heavy 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 story based game i'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house do you see this house very hazardous but so interesting it has like a lot of character to it so in this game you play as the young edith finch you're playing through a story and what i mean by that is is that for each room in the house there is a story that you're going to play through and each story is about a family member that died in the house or died within the family so there's like a lot of interesting ways that it narrates so the first example that i'm going to show you is actually in molly's room which is where most people would start so in molly's story you're first introduced to her diary december 13th 1947 dear diary i'll be gone soon but i wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen it started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. I gobbled her up. You change into different animals. So in this next one, she turns into an owl. And I cut out the other animals that appear because I wanted to leave it a surprise because it's more interesting if you see it for yourself. Also look around because the environment is very interactive and there's a secret in every corner, literally. Like even in this little drawer, there is something there. So make sure you have the time to look around. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. 
Now the next game that I'm going to introduce is Oxenfree. And I know I said this before, but this is one of my favorite games of all time. So this game also has a lot of dialogue. And I mean a lot of dialogue. Especially this one character who I really don't like. But in this one, you can choose various dialogue options, as in three dialogue options. And, and in this game, you can actually choose not to say anything, which is actually pretty cool. Because sometimes games force you to say something, but in this one, you just don't have to say anything. And I love that, because in most situations, I probably wouldn't say anything. So this story is about Alex, who at the beginning of the game, just met her stepbrother Jonas, invites him along with her friends to go partying on this island. And when they go to this island, some things go wrong. There's drama, there's beef, there are ghosts. Well, kinda. This game is very interesting because it has to do with like, it has like a little bit of horror and it has space time continuum stuff. So the main mechanic of the game is using this radio. What's interesting about the radio is that for each area you go to in the game, there are unique signals that you can catch. So even though you hear something on 86.3 in one area, it's probably gonna be completely different in the other area or there won't be anything at all. So this is the drama that I'm talking about. Uh, not gonna explain it because I don't wanna give too much away of this game. The less you know about it, the better. If I were at a party, which rarely happens, I would be in the corner like Alex is, sipping on my juice. But I really love this game. And a sequel is coming out this year, I believe. I can't wait. I'm gonna play that so fast. The day it comes out, I'm playing it. Maybe on the channel, I don't know. But I'm definitely playing it because I, I love this game. And I love the aesthetics, the backgrounds, the some of the characters, but mostly Alex. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the Nintendo Entertainment Online, whatever it said. It has so many things on it. But if you have the Nintendo Switch Online subscription, then you get access to all these free games. So here I am playing Mario, and did you know that the rotten mushrooms can kill you? I didn't know there were even rotten mushrooms in this game. I thought it was just regular mushrooms. And then I turn invisible, but I don't think that's a part of the game. Yeah, I died a lot of times. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you like the, the games that I played, and it has the original Zelda, I, I guess it is. And then this one car game and a Kirby game. It started me on level seven for some reason. But yeah, this this game was actually pretty fun. Um, it's not what it looks like. So those are all of the games that I have for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and maybe you're considering getting any one of these games or even all the games or none of the games, that's fine. Even if you don't buy any of the games, that's fine. I'm just grateful that you watched the video. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, or if you'd like to see any games that I'm gonna be playing on this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.